<laughs> this is Andy over at the Facebook Live TV show. Glad to see you. Uh, uh, one of the, uh, the subjects that have come up in a couple groups that I'm in, in particular um, the Switcher Studio Enthusiast Group, uh, and even uh, in a private message on the Facebook Live TV show, is uh, how to use a webcam with Switcher Studio. And there was some belief that you couldn't, and there were some people that said that you could through some other means and that kind of stuff. Well, um, one of the things I mentioned is possibly going through the computer because you can use your computer with Switcher Studio Pro if you're using the Switcher Cast app on your Mac computer. Also reminding all of you, um, you know, PC users and uh, Android users, none of this is available for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is only for iOS. Uh, this only works for iOS uh, systems. Uh, Switcher Studio is what I'm talking about. Uh, and so what you're looking at right now from me uh, here is a C920 uh, HD Pro uh, Logitech uh, webcam. Um, and that is run, you're seeing it through this computer. And I'm going to show you how to hook that up in just one second. Uh, this um, over here, and I'm going to move my face over here, is another iPhone. So you can see the difference, right? See how clear the iPhone is, and you can see the stuff. I left all the stuff on the whiteboard. This is from something I taught yesterday on the uh, Falco Canine Academy Facebook page about scent and all that kind of stuff. It looks like a mess. If you watched it, you, this would make perfect sense. <laughs> I promise. Um, and so, but you can see with that phone, um, which is a uh, iPhone 7, no iPhone 6. This is an iPhone 6, uh, 6 Plus. And so it's super clear, right? You can see all the writing and I can actually zoom out and zoom in and you can see very clearly. Look at that. That is so fantastic. I love Switcher Studio Pro for this reason. I'm sorry, I need to go to comments here really quick. Um, and so you can zoom in and all that kind of stuff. Now let me switch back over to this uh, C920, which when you're using it directly with... Um, Oh uh, my gosh, like with, uh, like maybe you're going directly on a, from your Facebook uh, page on your computer, uh, you're going to get a much clearer picture, but going through for some reason, it is not as clear, probably because you're wirelessly going from the computer uh, and then out to the PC, but you're doing the same thing with the phone. So I'm not quite sure why this is uh, not as clear. I've gone through some of the settings, which again, I'll show you in just one minute. Um, but, um, the, this, these are the things that I'm working through and kind of experimenting so that I can help all you understand how you can do those so you can get a multi-camera shot using Switcher Studio. Uh, hey Andy, uh, I don't have Switcher Studio or iOS. I'm just here to support and cheer on the content uh, provider. Thank you. I don't know who this is because for whatever reason in Switcher Studio, it no longer shows you who's making the comments which is very frustrating because yesterday I was doing this and I expected to see. So the comments are great because you can see the reactions. I can see the thumbs up and the hearts and the wows and the, and the, and the laughter and the crying and the mad. I can see those reactions and how many you're getting from one of those, which I've got none from whoever's uh, uh, sending me this message. But I don't see who it is. I can't say hi, you know, whoever, John or Everett or uh, whoever's uh, 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 commenting. And that's, that's not... It, it, almost everything that Switcher Studio has done up to this point has been great. Uh, but this one, whatever reason, they've taken away the names of the people. So, back on track. So, uh, I'm using an iPad here. This is the Switcher Studio. Runs off the iPad. It's the best thing to, to use because it uh, um, um, is large and you can make all the changes and switches and that kind of stuff. And then I'm off to my, which I'll show you here with my other camera here. My, this, so this is my other iPhone. This is my, uh, uh, my current iPhone that I use. Oop, let me clean the lens first. All right. So um, you're going to see my messy garage because my daughter, who's staying here temporarily, moved all of her. I, say, I almost said crap. I didn't want to say crap on Facebook Live. Um, and so I'm going to show you the iPhone here. Those, there's the iPhone on the tripod which is pointed at this uh, whiteboard, all right? So that's wirelessly click connected. The only thing, the reason you see the white uh, uh, cord on there, that's for power because that phone only had like 5% when I decided to start this show. Uh, so I didn't think ahead, obviously. So that's, that's the iPhone 6 Plus. I'm pretty sure that's what, this is a 7 Plus that I have in my hand. Um, and then right over here is the uh, 920 webcam. And that's the one you're looking at. Watch, I'll switch over here. And that is that one, all right? So, and you're able to switch over to that one. All right, and that's running through my laptop, which is right here, as you see right here. Okay, um, and so uh, here is Switcher Cast, which you need to have on your computer, 
and you can see on here is listed uh, they, my FaceTime HD camera and my HD Pro webcam. Uh, it also allows you to share your screen, which uh, is just not on there right now. I'm not sure why. I must need to have something open. Let me open up a website and see if something pops up on... No, I'm not sure why. <laughs> That's kind of weird uh, because normally it shows... It'll show your desktop and what you can select on your desktop. So anyway, uh, that's a whole other subject. Right now we're just talking about the HD Pro um, uh, webcam C920. So you open up Switcher Cast, which you've downloaded the app to your Mac. You uh, open it up and you'll find what is it's using. And then once that is listed on there, then you go to Switcher Studio and you hit the plus sign right here. This pops up here and you go to cameras. This is hard to do through the screen. And now you see how it's listed there. Uh, FaceTime HD camera, which is the other one that's listed on my laptop, and then you can see the check mark on the HD Pro webcam, which then now works through Studio. You see my Andre, my Andre is my real first name, if, in case you didn't know, uh, is the iPhone that shows the whiteboard, and iPhone is the one that you're looking through right now. And those are all selected. You hit Done, and now all those cameras uh, are showing up here, so you can switch to them. So I hit this one, and when I want to switch to that, it goes into the preview window. When I want it to go live, I hit right here where it says preview live and watch how this changes. And now I'm on this camera. All right, so that's how, kind of how you do that. Uh, let me go ahead and share back and I'll show you what, it, what I was talking about. How um, I was talking about that you can't see. Uh -oh, where is it? Hello? Okay, oh, there we go. <laughs> I wonder why that wasn't oh, almost there. Where'd it go? I wonder why it wants to show white there. Oop. What angle do I, I, I'm not having the right angle here. There we go. And it keeps adjusting. Right there, you see how it says, it doesn't show who's speaking. It just has the comment, but it's a mystery as to who it is. Well, shoot, it's not allowing me to show it. All right, so that's the setup. This is Switcher Studio Pro. When I want to go to the other camera, I hit here. Let's go to the whiteboard. The whiteboard shows you this here and shows you how clear it is, and you can show uh, what it is you're talking about when you want to... When you want to switch back, then I'm going to go to this camera here and switch to this one. And we're back on live over here. So, um, the, again, the question was, what, could you use a, um, a webcam to broadcast on Switcher Studio Pro up to a certain point? I guess it was not, uh, cap you were not capable of doing that. But apparently now you are, and that's how you do it. you got to make sure and have a Switcher Studio, a Switcher Cast on your laptop. Uh, on your Mac laptop. I'm not sure if it works with a PC. Somebody could correct me when I, when I repost this. Uh, you know, as a matter of fact, I think it's coming back. I think you can use a PC. I'm not 100% sure, but I know for sure if you have a Mac, no problem. Um, and um, you are going to then go to, once you uh, launch Switcher Cast and it shows up, the, the HD Pro Webcam C920 shows up in the list of your video sources. You're gonna go to your Switcher Studio Pro. Uh, you're gonna hit the plus sign. Uh, on your sources, and then you are going to uh, select the HD Pro Webcam C920, and then it begins to operate. Uh, oh my gosh, or oh my god, well, either one, OMG, I would never have the bandwidth to mess with all that software and all those devices. We, I can uh, barely uh, fumble my way through learning uh, voice meter, LOL. Uh, and again, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are talking. I just can see your comments. Um, it, it's the bandwidth, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to bog do down. It, it's, um, uh, it just works, and it works well. The Switcher Studio just seems to work, and um, so interesting. I could also show you the camera. So I actually have a, f uh, a three camera or a four camera shot going on right here. This is from the iPad, right, showing the ground, and I see all the wires <laughs> that are all connected. This is the webcam. This is my iPhone, which is on the tripod. And this is the camera that I'm holding in my hand, right? Uh, and then I could come back to here. So it's a four camera shot you're able to do with iOS devices, um, uh, one iPad, two phones, and a laptop, and a C920 uh, HD Pro webcam. And 
you're able to put on a whole show. You can take this on the road. It is so easy to take on the road. You can go to a restaurant and do an interview in a restaurant and then have multiple cameras pointing towards the uh, tables and then maybe one even in the kitchen. As long as the Wi-Fi is the same throughout the building, you can put that cam the other camera or other phone anywhere you want in the vicinity of the same Wi-Fi connection. So wherever, wherever you have that Wi-Fi connection, you can have your cameras placed and showing other stuff. And so you can even add other rooms, which could, could uh, actually be other studio positions, like an interview that's gonna happen on a couch. You have a phone over in the living room. Uh, you, I could be here in the, in the uh, garage, uh, in this part of my studio, and then introduce, okay, let's go to um, uh, you know, Sandy, who's uh, gonna be speaking with uh, Mary about how to do basket weaving. And then you, from here, can actually switch it over to Sandy, who's, just simply on an iPhone in another room in your house, but they're on the same Wi-Fi, and you can make that connection. It is fantastic. Actually, the Wi-Fi actually goes outside, so I've been able to do this and do dog training outside of my house because the Wi-Fi is the same outside too. So it's it's fantastic, and the, the bandwidth just really doesn't seem or the the. Um, as long as you can do just a simple Facebook Live, as long as you have enough to do that, uh, it doesn't really seem to affect it to add the additional uh, phones to the system. Uh, it just seems to work. So there you go. Um, patience. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, well, you could. If you just used it and practiced, everything would be fine. You'd be able to do it, I promise. It's April. Hey, April. <laughs> you can do it, April, I promise you. It's not a big of a deal. <laughs> I know he said silly, but it doesn't say April on here. I am sorry. All right, that is it. I just want to show you how you do that. And that I was going to, I told, uh, at least in the Switcher enthusiast uh, uh, group, that I was going to uh, test it out and see how it worked. Uh, but this is what it looks like. And again, I've made some changes. I've made some adjustments. Oh, I forgot to use, I forgot to show you that. So sorry. Um, if you want to make adjustments to your camera, you also have to make sure that you download um, um, the Logitech. Hold on, I got to move the mic there. Uh, Logitech camera settings. You got to make sure and download that. And you click on that. And now you can make all the adjustments. So I, I'm going to be able to make some adjustments here. You're going to, oops. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Hold on one second. I know, I do this all the time. All right, let me go back and show you where this is. So this is what it looks like. This app right here, Logitech Camera Settings, you click on that. Once you click on that, it opens up this, um, uh, the settings here, that you can make all these changes, right? And so, where's my cursor? I can't, there it is. Uh, and so this is where you, uh, you wanna make sure and click off autofocus so that your camera isn't continuously trying to focus on you as you move, you click that off. When it's on, uh, it, it'll keep trying to focus on you and you, as you move, it's kind of irritating to the viewer. So you wanna make sure to take that check mark off. You can then zoom in and go right or left with your camera and then advanced settings is where I had to go in there and make some adjustments. You see how these are, are moved around, they're not in a straight line. That's because I wanted to try to make sure that the, the, the picture was very similar to what you're seeing uh, as close as I could. It's, it's, it's almost impossible because the clarity on uh, the phone is so clear and looks so good. Um, you, you can only come as close as you possibly can. I see, to me, it looks a little bit blurry, right? And I've made all the adjustments that I possibly could, and this is probably, for right now, the best I could do it. Uh, but you're gonna see when I go to the other camera how the difference and how clear it is and that there's no blurriness. Uh, and, there, and, it, and it adjusts a lot quicker so that you don't see the slow try to uh, focusing thing happen and it, it, it again is really irritating. All right, so I almost forgot to show you the, uh, the webcam, the Logitech camera settings that need to be done beforehand to really kind of make it look much better. And trust me, this is closer than it was before. It was like a little dull. Uh, the colors on the boards behind me were not quite as um, uh, vibrant and um, the focus was even worse. Uh, and so, which is not what happens when you're going directly from your laptop to the Logitech. It just works, right? But for whatever reason, there is somehow, at least for me right now, a difference on how all of this is operating. All right, so that's it. And April, thank you for uh, chiming in. I really appreciate it. And um, I will see you at the next one. Take care. This is Andy over at the Facebook Live TV show, and I will see you later. Take care, bye.